Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 53. In this video, we will discuss the advanced puzzle solving technique called Unique Rectangle Type 6. All the uniqueness puzzle solving techniques are based on the one solution rule. The one solution rule means for a Sudoku to be considered valid, it must have only one solution. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. It turns out looking for a unique rectangle type 6 is very easy. All we have to do is look for an X-wing, where the possible candidates in the cells form a unique rectangle type 6 pattern. We begin by highlighting all the cells having a possible 1 candidate. As you can see, we do not find any X-wing patterns with the possible 1 candidate. All the cells having a possible 2 candidate are now highlighted, and again we do not find any X-wings. We highlight the possible 3 candidates, and there are no X-wings. We are now showing all the cells having a possible 4 candidate. Again, there are no X-wings. All the cells having a 5 as a given or a value have been filled out, so we move on to the next number. We are now showing all the cells having a possible 6 candidate highlighted. Again, we do not find any X-wings. Here are all the cells having a possible 7 candidate highlighted. This time, we do find an X-wing now outlined. Next, we need to confirm if we have a valid, unique rectangle type 6 pattern. This time, we do find a valid, unique rectangle type 6 pattern. A unique rectangle type 6 pattern is composed of four cells with one set of the diagonals having the same two possible candidates. And the two cells in the other diagonal have the same pair along with one or more additional candidates. According to the way the UR type 6 works, we target the two possible candidates making up the X-wing within the two cells having the extra candidates as shown. Before we delete the non-possible candidates, Let's consider the logic for how the unique rectangle type 6 pattern works. Assume we do not have a 4 or 8 in cell 1, 1, and we do not have a 2 or 3 in cell 4, 3 as shown by being blotted out. We now have multiple sets of naked pairs. We can then eliminate all the non-possible candidates because of our naked pairs. But now we have a problem. We have no way to determine how to choose which numbers go into the cells making up our rectangle. We must guess which values to use in the cells making up our rectangle. If one of the solutions will work, the other solution will also work because the numbers have no logical implication in the puzzle. This violates our premise of a Sudoku puzzle having only one unique solution. As with all uniqueness techniques, we can eliminate candidates under the assumption the possibility of having multiple solutions cannot occur. So with this example, we have two conclusions in order to avoid the possibility of a uniqueness problem. First, we must conclude either cell 1, 1 has some value other than 1 or 7, or second, we must conclude cell 4, 3 has some value other than 1 or 7. The point being, we must assume the case where we have multiple sets of naked pairs is not going to happen. So let us consider the first conclusion where we have a 4 or 8 in cell 1, 1 as shown. Because the 7 cells are part of an X-wing, having a 4 or 8 in cell 1, 1 results in having 7s in cell 1, 3 and 4, 1 as shown. The X-wing then eliminates the 7 from cell 4, 3 as shown. The important result to remember here is we do not have a 7 in cell 1, 1 or cell 4, 3 as shown. Next, we consider our second conclusion, where we have a 2 or 3 in cell 4, 3 as shown. Again, because the 7 cells are part of an X-wing, having a 2 or 3 in cell 4, 3 results in having 7s in cell 1, 3 and 4, 1 as shown. The X-wing then eliminates the 7 from cell 1, 1. And as before, the important result to remember is we do not have a 7 in cell 1, 1 or cell 4, 3. So at this point, we must conclude the 7 in cell 1, 1 and the 7 in cell 4, 3 are non-possible candidates now highlighted in dark red. We have one more final confirmation before we remove the non-possible candidates. As with all UR puzzle solving techniques, we must confirm our unique rectangle does not violate the 2x2x2 two by two by two rule. 
our type 6 rectangle only occurs in two rows and it only occurs in two columns and it only occurs across two adjacent blocks. So we are okay with the 2x2x2 two by two by two rule. We have confirmed our logic, so we remove the non-possible candidates. Time to test what you have learned. Before we begin, please remember to take some time to support DX Sudoku. Pause the video and find the unique rectangle type 6 pattern in the puzzle. Make sure you identify which possible candidates are to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the unique rectangle type 6 pattern in the puzzle. Make sure you identify which possible candidates are to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the unique rectangle type 6 pattern in the puzzle. Make sure you identify which possible candidates are to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the unique rectangle type 6 pattern in the puzzle. Make sure you identify which possible candidates are to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the unique rectangle type 6 pattern in the puzzle. Make sure you identify which possible candidates are to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the unique rectangle type 6 pattern in the puzzle. Make sure you identify which possible candidates are to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the unique rectangle type 6 pattern in the puzzle. Make sure you identify which possible candidates are to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the unique rectangle type 6 pattern in the puzzle. Make sure you identify which possible candidates are to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the unique rectangle type 6 pattern in the puzzle. Make sure you identify which possible candidates are to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the unique rectangle type 6 pattern in the puzzle. Make sure you identify which possible candidates are to be removed. Here is the solution. This completes the Exodoku training video number 53. Please support the Exodoku. Thank you for watching.